what's up youtube welcome back to my channel um today we're gonna be playing american truck simulator so this is actually a different truck from my last video my last video was a peterbilt um this is a w900 kenworth truck which is actually a pretty amazing truck it got a it got a pretty nice engine on there i won't tell you what it is but you guys will find out you guys will probably notice as soon as i get in the game it sounds insane um i'm actually gonna do a a load today it's actually a escort load and let me just get let me just get started see what i'm saying this engine sounds insane it just sounds crazy I'll show you guys the, the interior. It just looks crazy. See what I'm saying? I got Bruno right here, and I got Rocky right there in the back. The interior on this is just insane. I was actually trying to find the modification for the microwave in the interior because it does sound pretty good on it. But it's honestly, everything else is pretty good on it. I love the lighting, lighting's insane. Show you guys around the truck. It just looks it looks crazy. Got the Dominican flags on there because I am Dominican. But the truck actually looks amazing. Love everything about it. But yeah, let's get to picking up this load. This load requires an escort, which is actually pretty dope. Um, I've done this twice while playing this game, and let me just say that everything is good at first. It's just like the the parking is what ruins it. Ah, uh, look at it right here. Yes, sir. See what I'm saying? This is actually insane. You got the newsman out here. You got the whole crew checking out. Checking everything out. You got a police escort, which is crazy. I'm not sure if they do that in real life, like a police escort. I know they do like oversized, like load escorts. Or they have like other different people, like in their like, in, like company vehicles escorting them because I have seen them in real life but I never seen like like actually like the police like escort semi truck stuff like that but you guys can see right here which is uh, all the steps you got one two and three which is like the, the escort escort or whatever you guys want to call it don't don't quote me on that but the guy in the back is gonna go on first then um the guy in the front will go and then I'll go so that way I could get the space to go on there. He'll give me the guy in the back. But each exit is like covered where like they block it so that way like nobody or interfere with me in the front or anything. But it's actually pretty dope though. I'll show you guys. So this is this is the load today. It's actually not too bad. I just can't do the parking. The parking is just I can't do it. But you guys will see me struggling here. You guys will definitely see me struggling. Just don't judge me. Where is uh, I just don't know what to exit. Do we exit through here? Yep. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, we exit through the other, the other side. Okay. I almost messed up. I'm not trying to reverse in this thing. Because the thing is that. The, where I messed up in the parking is that you can't really reverse 
on this. It doesn't even give you the option to like park in a reverse. It just tells you to go on straight. But it's like when I, it wants you like, to do it to like where it's directly in a line. I know you guys probably playing this game probably tell me, oh, it's super easy. Well, not for me. I can't. I, this is not easy for me. Because I, I try to do it, but it's like the back. It's just like when I try to reverse, if I don't park it in straight, the back will just like start going like sideways and then the the middle will start going through the other side and it's just it's just insane. Oh that sounds nice. You guys hear that jig break? Or engine break, however you guys want to call it. It's just It sounds insane, honestly. See what I'm saying? You got all the escorts here. It sounds, this, this truck sounds amazing, honestly. Like, I do want to test out all the other trucks, see what they have. And there's also other engines on here that sounds crazy. If you guys can actually comment on my video and tell me what, what other engine you guys recommend. Because this engine right here sounds, sounds, sounds crazy. Uh, there we go, yep, I got that. Let's go. But yeah, this engine honestly sounds the best to me. I actually seen somebody with this engine, they just never said exactly what it was. And I couldn't find it until I seen this mod, which actually um, had all these different type of engines. And I seen this one, it had like a thousand. 88 horsepower and, and honestly it was the best it was the best engine i haven't switched from this one because i remember i was in my peterbilt i had like a 600 horsepower i had like a 600 horsepower um engine and it wouldn't even like a uh, little like this i wouldn't even go uphill i would have to quit my i would have to quit the job and it would charge me like a fee of like 15k it wasn't crazy Honestly, so it's like me having this load and being able to pull it. Like, look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm going through red lights right now. It's crazy having a load like this. I'm supposed to turn to the left right here. I just love the way that engine just like, jig, 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 jig. it's just like it has cams. to go uphill like this if my truck would go straight back down it wouldn't even go up like that like it would just start going back down and then it would shut off i'll stall and then i would have to like since like i told you guys whenever you reverse on this the back like goes to another side and then the middle goes to another side and it's just it's just annoying honestly but honestly this truck hasn't given me any issues i can haul anything on this I'm actually gonna get the DLC for Texas. I actually got a lot of different maps open on this, just not Texas, which I'm gonna end up doing it because I wanna see what Texas has to offer. Oh, something happened here. I haven't seen this type of stuff for what happened here. Oh, so they actually stopped traffic? No way. What's going on? That was weird. I don't see anybody stop traffic, which was kind of crazy. I didn't see anything. But yeah, as I was saying about Texas, like I heard that it's a bigger map, obviously, but it has more to offer. There's also is a mod here about a, a lake house or something like that. It just shows up as your garage, which I have it, but it's like I don't have that um, that state yeah that yeah like that state unlocked and honestly I can't find it but it's on there though I really want to I want to try it out I know a lot of people have like those different type of mods where 
they have um like the GTRs and all that stuff. But I feel like in a game like this, you shouldn't have those type of cars on here because it's just like this game was made for trucking, you know. Like, I know like guys, I know a lot of people would be like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's not for your liking. It's for their liking, whatever. But it's like I feel like they should just keep this game for trucks, you know. That's why it's called American Truck Simulator, which is dope though. Like that they, I like that they have like a mod that you can put a GTR on there. And I'm not gonna lie, I tried it. I tried the GTR, and it's just like it's weird because when I downloaded it, there's no sound to the engine, which is kind of odd to me. Cause I downloaded everything that needs to be downloaded. But it is what it is. But back to the game. Honestly, I didn't even check how much I was hauling for this. It's probably like a good like 90, 90k, which is actually a lot, but this ain't bad, honestly. This, I like the truck, like you guys see the interior, is just, it looks crazy. I do want to have a nice Peterbilt though, because Peterbilt is actually my favorite truck. Kenworth is like, it comes in second, but Peterbilt will always have like, just that one like, you know, that one on top because they look so good when they're like when they're correctly built they look amazing and I'm talking about real life I'm not talking about like an end game like in real life like these truck these Peterbilt trucks are just insane like I, there's but I know there's trucks out there that have like crazy interiors where like you have everything digital but I like like my old-fashioned stuff like you know like having all these gauges they're gonna like having all these gauges all around and like saying something about maneuvering. Okay. But yeah, it's like you have all these game you have all these um what am I saying? You have like all these trucks with all these like digital stuff, like it's nice, don't get me wrong, it's uh, especially for like, you know like we're in twenty twenty four, I get it, you have to have everything like today have some cool like you know nice stuff like but i feel like me if i was to become a trucker like an actual trucker i would uh, definitely prefer a peterbilt which i actually wanted to become a trucker at one point i was actually studying to get my cdl but then i just like it wasn't the route for me i wanted like i wanted to do something else honestly and i'm going for it now honestly but um, Everything's pretty good. But Peterbilt, 100%, I would probably have a Peterbilt if I was to get my CDL and become a trucker. Just because you see all these crazy built Peterbilts, they sound amazing. They're like, like the paint, like when you have like a nicely fresh paint on it, it just makes that truck look crazy add all these modifications to it it just sounds it looks it looks real good like i've been watching some trucking videos like of people just like hauling stuff like i seen this one kid um he was uh he just started trucking i think he was working for like swift or something like that that is the one of the worst companies i'm not uh, i don't know about that but i did hear that swift is one of the worst companies And then you got other people like the old heads, uh, or whatever you want to call it, the, um, the veterans. That's what you call it. They, you know, they're always gonna say something about negative stuff, talking about like you won't survive the trucking business if you don't do this or if you don't do that. Honestly, I feel like everybody just has like their own paths, you know, like. Not everybody's gonna do the same way you did it. Like you have to do it on your own, and for you to experience, you know, like different. It's like life, like real life. Like you have to experience everything on your own. Like not everything's gonna be the same as it was for you, and then it's gonna be for them. You know, everybody has their own journey. But yeah, this truck is is, is crazy the way this truck feels like for uh, this is a g23 and then i got a g-force uh, shifter here and then i got you know like the clutch brake pedal but this feels amazing 
Especially since I'll be playing other games, like I'll be playing like drifting games. Yeah, this is what I hate when they do this. Because why 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 are you breaking like it makes no sense for him to break like that in front of me when there's nobody here. Like just turn man. I don't know why they do that. Like what what is he doing? I don't know what's he doing. Because my map says I have to turn to the left. So what is he doing? just happened. This is the first time this happens to me. Is that supposed to happen? Is he supposed to block the exit or something? Somebody else meets up with me in the front? Man, I don't got much to go anyway, so I don't really need him. It is what it is, man. All I know is that they better repay my company for, for that mistake. But yeah, as I was saying, this is like these trucks are, they are pretty good. I'm going to try some different trucks. I'm trying to do like a series on the, um, on American Truck Simulator, but there's just so much content out there for the, for this game that it's just crazy. But I'm going to try to do like my content because I feel like I'll probably bring like a different vibe to this game than most other people because a lot of people be using like these, these mods that are not realistic, which is like, you know, they add like all these gadgets and all this stuff, and it's like, it's not realistic. I like some of my games to make, like, it, to make it seem like it's like actually real. And I'm also gonna do obviously like different type of games, not just American Truck Simulator. I'm just trying to start off with this. I'm trying to get used to YouTube, because I'm not, this is actually my second video ever posting on YouTube. So I'm just getting used to it. But well, I'm gonna try and um Yeah, some something's wrong here. Something is definitely wrong. Because that, that car just went straight in and they're not working, so I don't know what just happened. There's definitely something wrong here. I don't know what's wrong though. I think part of the game something in the game crashed or something, I don't know. But that's weird though, I don't that that would happen. Now that we're getting closer to the end, it, it's going to be crazy because you guys are going to see my horrible parking. And I really don't want nobody to judge because I'm not, I'm not a trucker, like I said, I don't have my CDL, I'm not a trucker. I don't know exactly like how I'm supposed to back up, like I'm still like trying to maneuver on how to like back up. I know it's the same thing like when you have a trailer, it's just the same way that like, you know you go right to the that you're turning all the you go all the way to the right, it's gonna go the other way and then and all the way to the to the left it's gonna go the other way. I get I get all that stuff. But it's honestly like That sounds amazing, man. Oh my god. That sounds amazing. And I 
honestly don't want to give you guys like 40 minute videos because I know I, a lot of people do content on these on these um on these games like I'm an American Truck Simulator they do a lot of content with they like posting like four hours stuff like that and I'm just like yeah, that's good content but like yeah, damn watching something for four hours is kind of insane like I watch videos before for like 40 minutes stuff like that but now I'm like oh see now and that's good that's weird that the guy is not in front of me though, because both escorts that I've done, uh, the guy is always staying in front of me. Like the, the block on this side right here. I don't know. I couldn't see. I don't want to mess up on my turn. Yeah, the grinding. It's crazy. It is working. You guys can also let me know like what kind of content you guys want to see. Like if you guys want to see like more of American Truck Simulators. I'm gonna do different content too on like different games. You guys will see that very soon. Like probably I might I might do like one more video on a different truck on this game. But if not, I might also like do like, I got these other simulator games that I want to play that I also want to do some videos on. Like I want to like, I never played them, but I want to play them like with you guys. I want to do my first video so you guys can see me learning and you guys like learning with me. Because I know a lot of people don't play those games because, you know, I, I don't want to say what it is because I want to see when I, when I upload it, you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But honestly, like. These games are pretty dope. Like all these simulator games, because it's like it's like realistically. Like this game is like 100% real realistically, except for you know obviously when you crash and all that stuff, you know the impact will be worse. But I'm trying to say like with all the sounds, the load pickups, everything, it's just like obviously the mileage and all that stuff is like you know like boosted to where it's like it's sped up. But they're also like I've done um a load that was like almost 2,000 miles and if it, it was long it was crazy long like, I actually had to like pause mid like mid maybe like within like a thousand miles and then like take a break and then go back on there and then finish it oh this truck sounds this truck sounds insane dude it sounds so good I just can't get over it because it's just like the sound is just insane which is the reason why I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to like change trucks, switch trucks. Cause I have a whole bunch of trucks here that I bought. They're like used trucks, which. Cause I still have a ooh Sierra Vista discovered. But I still have a whole bunch of trucks here that I bought. They're like used trucks. Some of them are brand new, but I bought them for my company because I do have people working on them in this game. And they're making me a whole bunch of money. I ain't gonna lie. Like, look at that. I got 1.3 million. It's insane. I know a lot of. I did. I'm not gonna lie. I did do a money mod, which is just like boosting up my loads. Like, I didn't do like no crazy thing where like. I try to do this one mod that would give you like a trillion dollars. And then it actually gave me negative trillion dollars. And I'm like, what the hell? How do I do this? But this game is dope because it. When you take off the mod, it lets you load from where, from like way before that. So that way you don't, you don't, you don't like lose any like nothing crazy, which is honestly dope. I like that about this game that allows you to do that. I also did a different mod where it's like you get like a bank loan. One of them was actually one trillion dollars, and I did it. I bought a whole bunch of stuff, and then I was like, no, I don't want to do that. It's just like it's gonna kill like the way the game feels and I just decided to just do this which is like boost up the loads not like by nine crazy maybe like by like 100k not in like in the millions but it's still good because trucks here still cost like 200k and it's not it's just giving you like better loads and stuff like that I would like when you're going on like on a crazy far load you're not just getting like five thousand dollars and like it takes you like like so long just to 
get up to a certain amount. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's dope though. The way this mod works. I just wanted to make it seem like kind of realistically that way I can like play the game and enjoy it and still like, you know, not rush it and go over what I'm supposed to go over, you know. See like right here, aren't they, aren't they supposed to like cover these people? So I'm going straight. Okay. Uh, this is this actually might be easy. Maybe. It all depends. Oh man, this is good because I really didn't want to embarrass myself. I really did not want to embarrass myself. Okay, so I gotta do this as straight as possible. Okay, this is good. Okay. Oh man, if I get this the first time. Oh. I just had it. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. Oh, I did get it. Yes. I don't get to embarrass myself in this video. Oh, that's good. That's really good. So see what, see what I'm saying? Look at this. So he gave me 202K. Um, it just, it just boosts it up a little bit. Like... 607 XP plus 109 XP plus 1000 XP. It's just it boosts up everything on the experience, and then for the money, it's just like you know 107k, which is the base reward, and then the proficiency bonus level not 59, then 63, you know, then the but it, it, you guys get what I mean. But honestly, it's a, it's a good mod. You guys supposed to see my mods, it's just like, I got a lot of different mods. And for the JBX graphics, honestly, you guys can see for yourself. It's just so dope. Like, if you guys see the skies, the skies look amazing. Everything looks dope. The truck sounds insane. <laughs> I know we're going to keep saying that. It looks crazy, honestly. Horn and screw is obviously modified, but realistically, see what I'm saying? It just looks crazy. But thank you guys for watching. You guys see my plates in the front right there? It says like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Support the channel. Help me out. Help me grow this channel. Um, I will be uploading maybe every three to four days um I'm trying to upload as much as possible i got more equipment um that way i'm able to uh give you guys better content and yeah that's all just please uh like comment share support the channel and please subscribe mm -hmm.